Hey guys, this video right here is for boys only, so mom, dad, and any annoying girls in the family, you might want to leave now. Okay, they're gone? Great. Hello and welcome to Sam K Parenting. Today's video is all about puberty and what changes you can expect as a boy. If this is your first time here, make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on our regular updates every Thursday. Now let's jump straight in. What we're going to talk about isn't exactly a secret, but it can be kind of awkward and embarrassing. So it's probably best to hear it from me. What am I talking about? The big P. Now, now, get your head out of the gutter. I'm talking about puberty. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've noticed strange things starting to happen to your body and you want answers. I don't blame you. These changes can be confusing, and the last person you're going to want to talk about it with is your parents. Am I right? Now, before you start thinking that you're weird or there's something wrong with you, I'll let you in on a little secret. Puberty is an absolutely normal part of growing up. There's no way to avoid it or fight it, so it's best just to be prepared. Every single one of us will go through it eventually, and it's the final step before becoming a fully formed adult. So what is puberty exactly? Well, in a nutshell, it's the process of maturing from a child into an adult, or in your case, from a boy into a man. It's a time in your life filled with rapid growth spurts, hair where it never used to be, voice changes, and of course, changes downstairs. While we all go through it, not everyone experiences the same puberty symptoms at the same time. For boys, puberty can begin as early as 8 years old and as late as 16, with the whole process taking around 4 years on average. That's why it's important not to compare yourself to your friends at school. They may have started early or experienced a very visible change first. Okay, so what are some of these changes in detail? You're probably going to notice the physical changes first because they're the most obvious, especially when it comes to body hair. The upper lip, underarms, legs, and genitals will start to sprout dark hair, and not necessarily in that order either. With hair comes sweat, and with sweat, a funky fresh new thing called body odor. You're probably not going to notice it at first, but trust me, other people will. You don't want to be known as the stinky kid. So consider ramping up the number of showers you normally have as well as investing in a good quality deodorant or any perspirant. We're not talking about body spray or cologne. These only mask the smell momentarily. Deodorant after a shower is a good habit to build because it's something you'll be doing for the rest of your life. Next up, we're going to talk about <clears throat> down there. Now, aren't you glad you asked mom to leave the room? This may have already been happening to you or it's an awkwardly embarrassing thing you've got to look forward to. Picture this, you're in class and your teacher asks you to come up and write on the board. You know the answer, but for some apparent reason, your downstairs friend is standing to attention. It's not that you find mathematics sexy or anything, spontaneous erections are another feature of puberty. Blood rushes into the vessels of the penis, causing it to stiffen, harden, and stand erect. If you haven't quite mastered the flip and tuck for those awkward moments, just know it won't always be this way. As you get older, erections will be linked to arousal as opposed to random chance. This leads us to the next sticky problem, wet dreams. Part of puberty involves the testicles firing up their semen production for the first time. A wet dream occurs when this overproduced semen is released from an erect penis during sleep. This may sound disgusting, but you can relax. Only about a teaspoon's worth is ejaculated during a wet dream. Your body will eventually calm down, and these nocturnal emissions will decrease over time. You may be interested in or heard of masturbation before. To put it plainly, masturbation is rhythmic touching of your genitals in order to cause an ejaculation. From a medical science perspective, masturbation is completely normal and even has some pronounced health benefits, including the reduced chance of prostate cancer later in life. Okay, so we've covered off some of the grosser topics, but what else can you expect from puberty? If you've spent most of elementary school looking up at all the tall kids, here's some good news. Puberty brings with it a pretty impressive growth spurt. You're likely to grow 7 to 8 inches taller, as well as develop muscular arms, shoulders, and chest. Your voice will become deeper, but not at an equal rate, occasionally reverting back to a squeaky voice, which can be an equal mix of hilarious and embarrassing. Some people call it breaking your voice or having testy pops, but soon enough, your voice will settle at the new lower pitch. You may start to notice some acne or pimples on your face, back, or chest due to the overproduction of skin oils. While it's mostly unavoidable, regular face washing and a balanced diet can help with breakouts. Now some boys, not all, may experience some slight breast tissue growth due to rapid and intense hormonal changes that happen during puberty. 
The good news is that this increase in breast tissue growth will usually resolve itself when things settle down hormonally. Oh, and one last thing, your body isn't the only thing that's changing during this time. Hormones affect the growing mind, too. You may experience some intense mood swings and eventually have sexual or romantic feelings towards someone. At the same time, you might find your parents or siblings a little more irritating than before and find yourself wanting more privacy and space from them. It doesn't mean you don't love them, it's just part of the process. So now we know the what, you may now be wondering why does this all have to happen? Well, the why is the same for girls as it is for boys. Physical reproduction. Puberty gets the body ready for making babies. Not that you should be thinking about that just yet, but it always helps to be prepared. And that's it, your crash course on puberty for boys. I know it can be a super challenging time, but you're not alone. It happens to absolutely everyone. There's nothing to fear. In fact, if you know what to expect, puberty is an exciting adventure that's just the start of the rest of your life. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Feel free to share with anyone you may think can benefit from this information. Until next time, thanks for watching.